Episode 2 First Love in the year 1996 on the exact time of 9.58 am the timeline which the Celestials created was broken, those who were chosen by the Celestials was now in the original timeline. They were all transported in the frozen area in Alaska, as they walked and traveled to certain part of the world, they were shocked to see how humans has evolved in technology and many more for the only technology they have seen are those used by the Celestials. They learned from people that there are no Celestials nor is there any Eternals. In the year 1999 they decided to give themselves a group name they were known as the Infernals. They also noticed that they cannot get old they can stay the same since they were put to sleep but they can get hurt or killed. In 2016 after they have learned about everything on earth and all that human has created, they decided to split up and travel the world to settle in different places and they would not interfere unless if they would have to protect the people of earth from dangerous threat. In the year 2021, in the busy streets of New York City a tremor shakes the earth a portal then open and a girl with a deadly expression came out of it. She started to shout out pointed spikes from her hand killing some of the civilians. The cops were then called and they were everywhere trying to protect the people from the girl but they were no match for her. A voice then told the girl to return for he knows where the ones who were chosen by the celestials are, she then retreats into the portal. As the news was showing the incident that happened Stephen who is now the Sorcerer Supreme contacted all the Infernals, so that they can meet up and know how to deal with what is happening. They all meet in a field where there is nothing but grass, they were happy to meet each other, they hugged and smiled for they have learned about their powers and how to use it, but their happiness was short lived for the same portal appeared and out walked out the same girl. I see you have seen my invitation said the girl, the invitation of killing a lot of people said Stephen. Well, I didn't know where you guys lived so I had to bring you out from hiding said the girl, and who are you said Troy the god of thunder. I am Hela the goddess of death, daughter of Odin of Asgard, and I have been chosen by an elder god to be his champion to stop you, Jerome. Stop me from what said Jerome, I don't know I don't ask why I just get the job done said Hela. Well, it would be the other way round it would be you we will be stopping said Dion. Okay get out of my way. You talk too much said Hela as she started shooting out pointed spikes from her hands. Steven quickly conjures up a shield using the mystic arts, it was enough to block the spikes from hurting any of them. Hela then jumped towards the with speed punching the shield and breaking it sending all the infernal backwards. You think you can stop me, never said Hela, as all the infernal started to get up Jerome started to use his scarlet witch powers to create a blast and aim it towards Hela which knocked her down, Hela then got up she said, so you are the scarlet witch. I always wanted to see you, now that I have seen you, too bad I'm going to kill you. Well too bad I got more of what that came from said Jerome. Dion then drew her sword and ran toward Hela and started fighting her, although Dion was an expert fighter, she was no match for Hela. Troy then used his hammer to blast a bolt of lightning towards her, but it was still no match for her. Ok let's get this over with said Hela as she punched Dion in her stomach, Dion then fell on her knees groaning in pain. Hela then put a throat lock on Dion tighter and tighter as she fainted. Ava who was now furious ran towards Hela punching her in the face sending her backwards. Damon of the water tribe took Dion and jumped into the sky taking her far from the battle for she was injured. Vikas then used his speed power to stop time as he ran toward Hela who was now in midair and started punching her, he then stops thinking she was knocked out cold as he stops time began to run normal, as he looked at Hela he saw that she was not affected. He then ran towards her and started punching and hitting her in all directions. Hela was furious but she then learned that he was running in a pattern, she then waited for the right moment and caught him by his neck bent his foot towards the ground and broke his feet. As he screamed in pain, she kicked him aside. She then looked towards the rest of the team, Troy then throwed his hammer toward her knowing that it would knock her down, but to his surprise she caught it in her hands. That hammer was made by the celestials no one but me can lift it, it's impossible said Troy. My dear you do not know what is possible said Hela as she trod it towards him. Troy then lift his hands and stop it in midair. She then rushed towards him and pinned him down saying what are you the god of again. I am the god of thunder said Troy as a blast of lighting from the sky blasted Hela away. Jerome then caught her with his magic so she cannot escape Ava then jumped on her and broke her neck killing her. Everyone was in shock for what they all have done for they did not intend for that to happen. Suddenly a purple smoke appeared around Hela body and took her away. As the night came and they were all in a house some were resting and some were taking a shower. Stephen then walked into Jerome room and sat next to him on the bed, Stephen then said I saw how you fight with magic today and I think it's cool, what kind of magic do you have, 
I don't know I was never told what kind of magic I have said Jerome. They then looked at each other in the eyes and started kissing, they then made love the entire night. As they were finished, they told each other that they had always loved each other since day one but they were afraid to tell each other. In a dark room sat someone on a throne saying, Hela could not defeat them well I guess it's time to take matters into my own hands. After a couple of months of dating Jerome and Steven decided to make plans on buying a house so that they can live together because the house where the whole team was staying did not have a lot of space. As Steven stepped out of the house there was a loud explosion, when the team came to investigate, they saw that Steven was lying on the ground. 